So for our first shot, we had a Hornady 9mm critical duty with the flex tip that we recovered here. For a second, we had a Hornady Tap 40 Smith & Wesson. Our third here was a Spear Gold Dot Plus P Plus. This is a Ranger T series. Knock off of the old black talons, as you can see, the pointy tips here. That's a nice looking rifle. Great expansion though. That's a plus P, 9mm, 115 grain. Got Hornady Tap here. It's one of the older versions. Or I'm sorry, Hornady Custom uh, XTP. Yeah. Good mushrooming effect. Federal plus P plus, 9mm, 115 grain, the 9BPLEs. Basically, those are the pieces. This is a 40 Federal HST. Great expansion on this one. This is nasty. Oof. This is a 45, 230 grain Remington Golden Saber. This is a Magtech. Which did not expand. We had another round and reshot. Same thing. Uh, Spear Gold Dot 45, 200 and, or 200 grain plus P. Hornady Zombie Max 45, 230 grain, which is also similar to the Critical Defense. Same model, just with a green tip. Spear Gold Dot, uh, 230 grain, standard pressure. And Hornady Critical Duty, this is more of a barrier penetration round, as you can see it held together very well. Didn't open up as much, but really solid penetration. In terms of size, that 45 plus P and the 45 Golden Saber, and the 45 gold dot regular pressure were probably the biggest in the 45s. For the 40s, the HST definitely takes the cake there. And for the 9s, Ranger, awesome. Uh, and as you can see, compared to the Spear Gold Dots, uh, just really solid work. So, that's all.